So if you search for how to use Suno AI on YouTube, what you're gonna see is a lot of videos that are talking about how to become the ultimate prop master and secrets you didn't know. So I figured I would make a video that is for complete beginners who have never used Suno before at all and just want a quick, easy way to understand what it is and how to do it so you can get off this video and start generating music with your fingertips. Here we are inside of Suno AI. This is the home page. After you create an account, I'm just going to assume that you already have an account. So you go to create to make the actual songs. And up here where it says drooling monkeys, this is my workspace. And I have a bunch of different workspaces. But it usually just starts you off on one called my workspace. So I'll just create one and call it tutorial. And basically this is just going to be different spaces where your songs can live. So if you want to make a bunch of songs in one specific genre or something like that, you can make a s separate workspace for it. Or you can just do what I did for like my first year using Suno and do everything in the same workspace. It does not matter. So Suno has two modes right here up at the top. We've got simple and we've got custom. So let's go over simple first. Simple is basically you just prompt it out. It's like chat GPT, image or video generation, anything else like that. You literally just like rock song about toe jam. And then you hit create at the bottom and then it will make you a song about toe jam. So this can be really easy to use. You don't have to have any music knowledge whatsoever to be able to do this. And then right beside describe your song, they have these dice, which is this going to give you a random prompt. See, you just click it, a bunch of different random prompts. Now this section right here, if you click instrumental, that's just going to mean that whatever you type into the prompt is going to be an instrumental with no vocals. That is basically going to be a beat. And then the last thing on the simple tab is this inspiration spot right here which it just gives you like different genres and moods and things like that that you can try to put into your prompt. So that's basically things that Suno knows is gonna work good. So here's the custom tab. It looks a little bit daunting and confusing, but it's really not that bad. Uh, up at the top, we have audio and persona. Audio is if you wanna upload something, let's say you have a voice memo of you going, I like to smell trees. You would upload that and then it would take your vocal for inspiration and write a song about it and take the melody into consideration. And it'll basically make a whole song around whatever you said in the voice memo. You can also use it to upload, if you have a song of yours that you've recorded or something like that, you can upload your song into it and tell it to do it in a different style and it'll essentially create an entire remix for it. I have an entire video just on the upload section so I'll put a card up there if you want to see more on that. And next we have the persona feature which is basically just like getting a consistent sound through all of your songs. And I have an entire video on that concept as well where I showed you how to make an AI band. So if you want to see more about persona and get in depth with that check this video and next we have lyrics uh, right here you can just write your own lyrics I like cheese bruh I like cheese get out my face or if you want to have the custom mode but you don't want to write lyrics you can just click auto then it'll just do the lyrics for you and you can also just describe what the song is about like we did in the simple section and you can see right here we have the instrumental again if you toggle that on it'll be an instrumental toggle it off it's a full song with words and if we move down we have style description this is where you just talk about what you want the song to sound like genre so if you want a hip-hop song with piano and violins it would make a hip-hop song with piano and violins and then it would use your lyrics in that song or whatever lyrics it comes up with by itself uh, this is the creative boost where basically it just takes your prompt and enhances it So uh, I've, I've found some good results for this, but it also can take your prompt in weird directions So just be mindful of it, but it can come in handy. All right now on these advanced options We have weirdness and style influence weirdness is actually a new feature They just put in with the new version which I really like but if you're trying to make stuff good 
I would just leave it at 50%. Don't even touch it. Same thing with style influence. Just leave it how they have it if your goal is just to make good songs as quick as possible. But if you do want to get weird with it, you can take this up to a certain amount. And it turns red at 81% just to be like, yo, this shit about to be weird as hell. So basically, it just... It just introduces a little bit of chaos and randomness into the song, and it makes some really weird stuff sometimes. So that can actually be fun to play around with. And style influence is basically how much you're influencing Suno and how much work Suno is doing. 50% is a great starting point, but if you want to make sure that your prompt is followed word by word, you can turn that up all the way to 100. And if you want Suno to do most of the work, you would drag it down and then down here you can enter your song title uh this one was about i like cheese so it is type i like cheese and then you hit create and now you have your hip-hop song about liking cheese i like cheese bro yeah. and then you've got this like and dislike right here so if you click dislike on something it makes it go away you can go to filters and find it again but uh, this is really good if it just generates something and you're like, I don't fuck with that. Uh, you could just boop, boop, and then it's gone. And you don't have to look at it. So a lot of the times when I make something that I really like, I hit the like button. Just so I don't get confused. And if you like this tutorial, you should hit the like button as well. That's my first ever shout out for the like button. Then if you go to these three dots on any of the songs, you can do a bunch of stuff. Get stems, but that would be a whole other tutorial in itself also. You can do a bunch of other stuff that would all be tutorials in themselves but all you have to worry about is you've got your song made and you can add it to a playlist if you want to you can like make a playlist or move it to another workspace but yeah that's pretty much all you need to know to get started it's really not complicated at all it's basically mid journey but for music but if you have any questions or have anything else you want me to cover in the AI music space tell your boy in the comments and I will, there's an 80% chance I will do it. So what you still doing here, bruh? Go, go make some, go make some music.